I'm Sarah, welcome back to Ninjago TV. So today I have someone very special joining me that I'm going to be interviewing with your guys' questions and mine. <laughs> so you guys know him all too well as the master of lightning on Ninjago and he is just one of my favorite, favorite voice actors. And everyone, please welcome Michael Adamsway. Hi everybody, it's Michael Adamthwaite. How are you? I'm here today doing an interview with my good friend at Ninjago TV. Really excited to bring you this interview, so let's get right into it. I got some questions here. We're going to answer them one at a time. Here we go. Okay, Michael, so I know you have done both live action acting and voice acting. I want to know what is your favorite thing about voice acting versus live acting well my favorite role as a voice actor probably comes as no surprise jay's kind of my favorite role um i've done some really cool voices over the years but jay definitely i would say takes the cake um as far as roles on a sound stage uh presumably you mean like doing motion capture um I had a really amazing time working um, on War for the Planet of the Apes. I played Luca, one of the uh, the, the main uh, core gorillas in the film, and uh, yeah, that was tremendous. I got to work with Andy Serkis, I got to work with Terry Notary, and uh, so many tremendous actors. That was a great time. Yeah. I have only seen your voice acting roles. I haven't really seen your live action roles, but I know you did good because, well, you're Michael and you're amazing. What made you want to become a voice actor? Well, I grew up acting uh, from a very young age. So for me, playing with my voice and messing around with accents was kind of always something that I did. So as a performer, it just seemed like a natural place to go with my work and with my skills. So yeah, I started auditioning, I started taking classes, and eventually I got my first big role, which was uh, the voice of Colossus in X-Men Evolution. So you can check that out. Well, wow, that's a really interesting story. I love that. Um, I actually wanted to become a voice actor myself too, but I'm not really good at memorizing stuff and all that. And I've also heard that there are a lot of rejection with any performing arts, um, whether that is singing, uh, dancing, acting, voice acting anything like that and I don't know how well I'll be able to handle the rejection. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about voicing Jay and what is your favorite line that you have said as Jay? Um, I really love playing Jay because he is funny and a little bit quirky and he's kind of excitable but in the moment when he needs to he's always you know the right person on the team to turn to um there's been a lot of uh, emotional stuff he's been through a lot so yeah i think that jay is a very resilient character and um yeah it just goes to show when things get tough sometimes all you need is a laugh um one of my favorite lines that jay has said is definitely got to be waffles are just pancakes with abs cole uh <laughs> very fun uh, i hope i said that right um anyway so yeah there we go moving on my favorite lines that you have said as jay would be um a yak no way maybe it's a cow and um cole's a ghost kai can't swim we have no magical sword or elemental powers <laughs> What can go wrong? And also, um, bigger, bigger, that one thing, in, that thing in one big bite just crushed our entire ship. We need to save as many as we can. And then, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, great, let me take a note of that. 
giant snake that's wee itty bitty wee spot that would be totally impossible to get at because that thing is too ridiculously huge to know anything to stop it. Yes. <laughs> this is something that I've been wanting to ask you for a while and uh, that is is it true that you were on a Nickelodeon movie for the TV show Big Time Rush? And it's a Big Time Rush movie called Big Time Movie. I just want to know that because it says that on your IMDb that you were. So I just want to see if it's true. Yes, I was in the movie Big Time Movie. Uh, I played a bumbling assassin. Um... It was kind of a fun time to play Rickard, who was a little bit of like a Swedish assassin, you know, from that place where, you know, we came from in the movie. <laughs> uh, Rickard was very funny. I had a good time uh, working on that movie. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, I think people would uh, find it fun to know that I did get to meet the boys, and, and, and we did have some fun. We stayed, at a, we, we stayed at a big hotel while we were shooting the movie, and we got to hang out a little bit. So, yeah, yeah, that was fun. This question is actually from the band that wrote the Ninjago songs. Uh, so shout out to the fold and their question was how did Jay get a get the scar on his eyebrow? Well, I don't know so much that it was a scar. I think maybe and this is just me Maybe Jay went through a phase where he thought that you know, just like Cutting it in there would be fun. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know that it's a scar. Oh, that's Okay, <laughs> that is really cool and weird because in the newer seasons that scar on his eyebrow it looks like it just magically disappeared okay this next one is not a question someone just wants you to give the fans of Ninjago encouragement and it will be really helpful if you do <laughs> and they would really much appreciate it so, my message to all the Ninjago fans is uh, sometimes we got to slow down to keep going. So for anyone that's worried about will there be more Ninjago, I can't say. But we just keep going. I hope that's encouraging <laughs> for... Uh, for, for anybody, but, uh, you know, if you know me, you know that I don't do a lot of spoilers for the show, so, anyway. That is really good advice. I never thought of thinking about it like that. Do you like the new ninja design more than the old ninja design, or do you just like them both equally? Well, for me, as the voice actor, I mean, I love Jay, his voice, his personality, but it's definitely not up to me uh, as to what they look like, so that's a thing. As far as what I prefer, I don't know. I kind of like them all. <laughs> My favorite, personally, I like the old design more. But then again, I also like the new design so it's kind of in between. I mean, the old design of Jay and all the other ninjas, mostly Jay, um, he looked really cute and he was like a kid or maybe in his teens. And then um, when he got older, like in the other seasons, the newer seasons, um, Jay has freckles on his face and his hair is, I don't want to say messy, but it's like styled differently and he looks more mature, but they still kept his, the cuteness of his face, <laughs> which I love. Okay, next question. How has Jay's characteristics changed throughout the show? Um, I would say that Jay has grown a lot, and you know, I'll, I'll say through trauma and difficulty and 
Man, just so many events, so many big life events. Um, I would say that, you know, yeah, Jay has grown into a really well-rounded person. I mean, definitely there's some sadness and some heaviness in his life. But of course, you know, in those moments, he turns to his friends, he turns to his family, he turns to his partner. And, you know, uh, those people are in your life to make you strong. So, yeah, without getting too deep or sentimental, I think uh, I think Jay has grown a lot. Yeah. What was it like to voice the skull of Hazender in Master of the Mountain? I really enjoyed this role. It was super fun. It was an opportunity for me to change my voice and display uh, another side of, uh, you know, my voice abilities. So, yeah, I had a great time doing that role. It was uh, it was really fun to, to, to be creepy on a show where I'm usually <laughs> the comedic relief. By the way, you did amazing as the skull in Master of the Mountain. I had no idea that was you. It was cool seeing your take as a villain compared to... Uh, everyday hero and as Jay in the high-pitched voice. What was it like working on the movie BFG and who did you play? Well, it's a great question. Thank you. Um, I really loved working on the BFG. I got to work with Steven Spielberg. He directed the film. It was amazing being part of such a cool group of giants. Um, I played uh, the butcher boy. Uh, he was sort of in my mind when I started creating this character. Um, again, I got to work with Terry Notary, and he sort of helped everybody come up with their character walks and their moves and their, you know, uh, the the voice was really uh, on you, but um, it was fun for me uh, in a lot of ways. I sort of imagined my character being a mix between a black bear and a giant baby. So, <laughs> it was very fun. <laughs> Yay. Um, so, <laughs> that was that was kind of my role and um yeah, it was it was a great time. I I got to work with so many amazing actors and uh yeah. Yeah, the BFG, great times. <laughs>